Hi, welcome to Mindful Matters Yoga. I'm Nicole Best, and today is going to just be a quick, gentle yoga class to get some um, more space in the body, kind of awaken your spirit to get you through the day. So, um, with anything, don't push yourself too hard if you feel that um, you're at your edge, stop at your edge. If anything hurts, scale it back. Maybe sit in child's pose for a moment and then join back later. I hope you enjoy. So we're gonna start on our knees, if that's comfortable for your knees, or you can sit in easy sitting position. But we're just gonna pause here for a moment, just placing your hands in your lap, sending the shoulders down your spine, closing the eyes, or softening the gaze, just looking down your cheeks. We're just gonna close and just be still for a little bit, coming into our breath. So as you're breathing here, we want to fill the belly completely, filling the chest, and then exhaling, pushing down the chest and emptying the belly. Do that a few more times. And as you breathe, you're going to constrict the back of the throat, creating that ujjayi breathing, or oceanic breath, where it makes that wave-like sound. It's the breath that carries us through our yoga practice, through each movement. Um, it allows us to create more, more um, space in the body, able to extend further. Um, so let's go ahead and begin. We're going to start in child, not child's pose. We're going to start in um, on the table on your knees and hands. And we're going to drop the belly into a cow belly, looking up, inhaling, and we're going to exhale, rounding the spine, pushing the earth away as you exhale. And then we're going to inhale, rolling the spine down, looping it down, cow belly, inhale, and exhale, pushing the floor away, really rounding here. And inhaling, last round, looking up, exhaling, rounding the spine, pushing the floor away. We're going to open our knees a little bit to the edges of our mat, sending your tailbone back, walking your hands out. We're going to rest in child's pose. Just feeling a little stretch here in our spine, in our shoulders. And coming up on your fingertips, lifting the palms from the ground gives you a different sensation and stretch. Looking up, we're going to bring our elbows to our mat, bring our knees together, walk our hands out to either side. Me, I'm using walking to the right of my side, stretching the side body and the shoulders, and then slowly walking back to the center, pausing for a moment, reaching, stretching further with my fingertips, and then I'm going to walk them to the opposite side. My left side. Walking the back to the center, crawling the fingers away from the body, stretch, stretch, stretch. And then we're going to move with those fingers forward. Bring your knees back in line with the hips here. And we're going to stretch in puppy dog pose. So keeping our arms away, chin on the mat. This is a pretty intense stretch, even though it looks pretty simple. For me, it hurts on my shoulders. 
Hold in here. This is too much. You could lessen it by bringing your elbows in and just taking a modified version of puppy or just keeping it stretched out. Breathing here for a little longer. We're going to slowly walk our hands back into table. We're going to tuck our toes underneath, lifting our knees. And we're going to send our chest and our trunk to our thighs. A little tiger stretch here. And now we're going to straighten the right leg, keeping the left leg bent. Holding here. And we're going to bend that knee now, bending both knees, a little stretch, tiger stretch, and then straighten the left leg. And bending both knees, and now we're going to send both legs back and straight. If this is your first downward dog for the day, maybe take it a little easier, keep a slight bend in the knees. Really drop your shoulders down, fingertips forward. And we're going to look forward and we're going to walk towards our hands to the top of the mat. Softening the knees and dropping the spine into a ragdoll stretch. So maybe you want to grab your opposite elbows and just hang here for a moment, letting the head go. Releasing the neck muscles, shaking yes and no. Maybe you go side to side. You need some movement in that lower spine, mid spine, upper spine. And then slowing down that movement, dropping the hands to the mat. We're going to ground down on our feet. As we slowly roll to standing, rolling the spine all the way up, head arriving last. We're going to bring our shoulders up to our ears and drop the shoulder blades down our back, opening the heart center and the collarbone nice and wide here. Bring the shoulder blades back, pinching them together slightly, bring the lower ribs in and expanding back ribs. Tighten the glutes, the thighs, palms forward, chin back, mountain. Lifting all ten toes and slowly dropping them to the mat. Engaging your legs, feeling the earth beneath you. As you're grounding down, you also are rising up. Inhaling the arms into extended mountain. Bring the palms together in prayer. We're going to forward fold, moving through flat back, all the way down, forward fold. Hands to the mat if you can, or a block or a chair to support you. Keeping the weight in the ball of your feet instead of in your heels. You don't want to pitch back like I'm doing right now. You want to move more so you can lift your heels at any moment. Holding here and forward fold. Again, if you'd like to have a soft bend in the knee wherever you're at right now, whether this is your morning practice, midday, or evening. Then we're going to roll the spine into half fold, so really sending the tailbone up, pitching the hips, really lengthening here, bring the back of your hamstrings, spine out, lengthening the head out, you should look like a little triangle, and release, slight bend in the knee as we forward fold again. Half 
fold, we're going to straighten that right leg, keeping the left leg bent, and we're going to walk our hands to the side, a little more of an intense stretch here in the hamstrings. A little different perspective here. Again, you can bring your block with you to help the stretch. And then bringing it back to the center with both knees bent. Straighten the spine out. Maybe some movement in the hips. Then we're going to straighten the left leg, keeping the right leg bent as we do another side stretch. Side of the leg. And then bringing it back to the center. Inhaling, half fold again, pressing against your shins, never the knees. Really extending that tailbone to get that stretch back there. And then releasing it down. We're going to step our left leg back, low lunge, dropping the knee, like your block, releasing the toes. We're going to come up, choose to stay here, this is an option. You're going to keep your hips square, so sending that right hip back, left hip forward as you get deeper into that stretch. So your hands can rest here. You bring that left arm up, keeping those lower ribs and engaging the core, engaging that back glute. Pushing down, bringing this back, looking up. Maybe the right arm meets the left, biceps by the ears, gaze moving skyward. Just another option here. And then we're going to bring our hands to the mat, tucking those back toes, engaging the leg into a lunge, pausing for a moment. I'm going to take that right foot, sending it back to the left to a plank, holding plank for five. Four, three, two, one. Softening the elbows, lowering all the way to the mat, pushing your hands away from your body as your shoulders lift into cobra. Moving back down, tucking the toes, and we're going to push our body up through plank into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. Relaxing the head, deep breath, full exhale. Looking towards the top of the mat, bring your left leg forward into our lunge. Pausing here for a moment, making your adjustments with your hips. Dropping the right knee to the floor. Tucking the toes, using your block as your support. Lift up. Left arm reach, resting on the thigh. Right arm up. Ribs in. Core engaged. Glute engaged. Breathing. Maybe both arms come up now. Bringing both hands to the mat, gauging that back toe, firing that thigh up into your lunge again. We're going to step forward, right leg meeting the left. Inhale, half full, really extending that tailbone out and away, creating space in your hips. Crown of the head, reaching out. Exhale completely as in forward fold. <sighs> Inhale as we slowly rise, reversing our arms, reverse swan dive, reaching up extended mountain, palms to prayer, hands to your heart center, opening the hands. Inhaling the arms up, exhaling, forward folding. Inhaling, half fold. Pushing away, really lengthening that spine out. Exhaling, forward fold. 
Setting the right foot back, dropping the knee, unhooking the toes. We're going to inhale both arms up, squaring those hips as we come up into our low lunge here. Maybe we grab our hands to bring our shoulder blades back, our elbows back, cactus arms. Really squeezing the back of the shoulder blades together, opening the heart center. A lot of us have tight shoulders, we're going to bring our hands down, we're going to scoop it back up, and moving it into cactus. Pinching those back shoulder blades together. And again, we're going to flow, moving our hands, rotating down, out, and up, and cactus. Opening the palms really wide, powerful here. And last time, inhaling and exhaling. Hands to the mat, hooking the toes, firing that back thigh, pausing here for a moment, extending the spine. Lifting the left foot, bringing it back to the right. Two plank, holding five, four, three, two, one. Softening the elbows. Now we're going to move to child in the back. So now pausing here. Upward facing dog. Sitting the heart center forward. And then we're going to rotate our toes under and move into downward facing dog. Just like a little breath here. Looking forward, we're going to step our right foot forward, low lunge, pausing, lengthening the spine, dropping the knee, unhooking the toes, squaring the hips, right hip back, left hip forward, inhaling the arms up, holding here both arms, gauging the glutes, core, chin up, and exhaling, hands to cactus arms. Really bring the shoulders back, the elbows back, hands back, and then exhaling, bringing the hands down, scooping out and up. Exhale, cactus hold. Inhaling, circling up. Again, inhale the hands down, and exhale. And last time, inhaling. Hands to the mat, hooking the toes underneath, firing the back thigh up. Pausing here. And now we're going to step our left leg to meet our right. Inhaling, half fold, lengthening the spine away, crown of the head, tailbone away from each other. And exhale, forward fold. Again, let's grab opposite elbow. Just hang here in the ragdoll. Letting go of the upper back, letting go of the neck and the head. Releasing. Letting go. Watching Frozen a lot with my daughter. Pretty much know the words to every song. <laughs> Releasing the hands to the mat. Slowly roll the spine, head arriving last, mountain. We're going to come into a tree pose, so hands to your hips, feet hip distance apart, rolling the shoulders a couple times. We're going to take whatever foot you want to do first. Now you can bring your heel to your ankle, like I'm doing right now, and maybe this is as far as you go. Completely fine, every day is different. Or you could bring your leg up to your shin and rest here. Or you can move into full tree, but whatever you do, don't rest the foot onto the knee. Okay, and here we want to squeeze the thigh to your foot so they're glued together, pushing into each other, which will help stabilize your tree pose. Feeling the toes and your heel like a triangle on the bottom of your foot pushing into the earth. 
grounding down. The earth is there to support you. You will not fall, and if you do, your right leg will step down. Another option here is to hold onto a wall or a chair. So imagine I have a chair here. And we can bring our arms up. Another option for you, opening into cactus or bull post arms. Again, broadening the chest, opening the collarbone and the heart center. We can have your hands straight out, holding here, gauging the glute. And bringing your hands to your hips. You're going to release that foot, bringing the knee up, holding here for a moment, and exhaling, stepping it down. Shifting your weight back and forth, and then resting on the opposite side. Make sure we're really reaching out through the crown of our head, nice and tall, and moving to tree on the opposite side. So you can choose to stay here again, or maybe here. That's all we do today. Each side is different, each day is different. Oh. And again, just a reminder, pushing the foot and the thigh into each other, squeezing them together. Gauging the core, gauging the glutes, pushing into the earth with your feet. Finding a spot to look at as you're drifting. Don't look at me, because I'm moving slightly. Which will throw your balance off, but maybe you look at the floorboard or something on the wall, or maybe you move your gaze more skyward. And again, some options with the arms above the head, opening into gold post arms, cactus hands, or straightening up as you move your gaze up. Your hands back through prayer center, hands to your hip. We're going to release that foot, bringing the knee up, holding here, and releasing. Alternating the weight here. We're going to step into a wide legged stance. So, straight edge of your feet by your pinky toe in line with the short edge of your mat. Hands to your hips. We're going to look up. Inhale and exhale as we forward fold through a flat back. Hands coming to your mat. You might need to scooch in a little or you might need to scooch out a little. So you want to think about lifting your, your tailbone up as your hip points move down. So really creating space in, in the lower body. Bring the weight forward. You can rest the crown of the head on the floor. Maybe you go up on your toes. Kind of a little headstand practice, lifting the heels. You're not going to fall forward. A little trust practice with your body. And then walk your hands out. We're going to place your left hand right in front of your face. And we're going to rotate the right arm up and out. Try to keep those back hips square. The tendency is wanting to push over into the right leg, but you want to push back so your hips are still square. We'll revolve wide leg and stance. And we're going to switch sides with so placing the right hand right in front of your nose, sitting the left hand out and up. Rotating the spine. Bring the hands down. We're going to heel toe your feet in a little closer. We're going to soften the knees and come into a squat. So you might need to adjust here. Your elbows are inside of your knees. Your hair, hands are, palms are together in prayer. You're going to use your elbows to push your knees away. Beautiful stretch here. Nice job. Extending the spine, crown of the head up. And 
And we're going to release the hands. We're going to extend the left leg, keeping the right leg bent. <clears throat> A little stretch here. So I like to take my right um, arm here and use it to push my knee away to create more space and more stretch, keeping the left leg straight and flexed. And maybe the arm comes up. And if you'd like to have another option, maybe go for a bind. And your gaze can be down or up, wherever your neck is most comfortable. And release if you're in a bind. Hands to the mat, we're going to walk our hips up. And then we're going to find ourselves on the other side. If those options aren't accessible to you today, that's okay. You could stay here and continue working on this stretch. You can test your balance by lifting your hands up. But the more you practice, the more flexible and more stable you will become. So again, maybe you, option here is lifting the right arm up. Or you can reach around for the bind. But wherever you're at, just have gratitude for the movement your body does have. Thank your body for what it can do. And we're going to come into a wide-legged stance now with a flat back. Pausing here. Catching our hands to our hips. We're going to rise up. Heel toeing our feet all the way in. Inhaling the arms up, extend the mountain. Closing the palms together, lowering them through your prayer center. And open. And we come to the front of our mat. Inhaling the arms up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, rounding the spine and flattening into half fold. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping left foot back, right foot back, hold plank. Five, four, three, two, one. Softening the elbows, lower and chaturanga, dandasana, upward facing dog. Down and facing dog. Dropping our knees to the mat, unhooking the toes, sending the hips back, stretching into a child's pose. Looking up, you can grab your block, if you have one, if not a thick book, dictionary, or who has an encyclopedia. And we're going to lower to the ground. Placing the block between your knees. Bring your heels as close to your glutes as you can. Maybe you touch your fingertips towards your heels. And we're going to push into a bridge. So pushing the earth away, lifting the hips, squeezing the thighs, clasping the fingers together, and using your arms as a leverage, as a lever to push your body up even higher. Holding five, four, three, two, one, releasing the shoulders and the hands and lowering the spine. Breathe. We're going to do that another time. Ready? Pushing into the mat, hips rise. Bring your feet together, glutes up. Three, two, one, lower. If you'd like to remove the block, you don't have to do the block. That's just a little extra for your thighs. Exhaling, and on your inhale, rising up. Using the hands to push away, lifting the glutes high, high, high. Coming up on your Toes, lifting the heels to the ground, releasing the hands 
and the shoulders and lowering the vertebrae, one vertebrae at a time. Squeezing one knee in, the next knee, a little massage on the back. Grabbing the outsides of your feet. Happy baby. And again, hug your knees. Bring your head and make yourself as small as possible. Give yourself a giant hug. Thank you, body, for, for working so hard for me. Oh, and then relax open. Arms out. Feet out, reaching, and we're going to prepare for Shavasana. So relaxing the feet out to the length of the mat, hands out, closing your eyes, and just let go. Feel the support of the earth along the parts of your body that are touching in, in contact with the earth. Releasing part of your forehead in between your eyes, releasing the tension there, releasing the tension in your eye sockets and your jaw. Maybe open your mouth really wide and then close it, releasing the neck, the shoulders, the arms, the hands, the hips, the back, releasing, letting go of the thighs, the knees, the ankles, and the feet. And just be. If you'd like to stay in Shavasana a little longer, feel free to pause and stay as long as you like. But we're going to bring the awareness back to our body, movement into our fingers and our toes, gentle, mindful movement, awakening the body, stretching the arms over your head and your toes in the opposite direction, expanding the ribs. Roll to one side of the body using your arm as a pillow. Pausing here to give yourself gratitude for coming to your mat today. It's not easy to make that choice and be proud of yourself. 
pushing the floor away as we come up to an easy sitting position here, crossing the legs, dropping our palms to our knees, rotating the shoulders up, dropping them down the spine. Bring your hands to your heart center, lifting them up to your forehead, reminding yourself to think positively. Thumbs to your lips, reminding yourself to speak the truth. Hands to your heart center, reminding yourself to sit in love to wherever you go, whoever you see. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. I hope you have a beautiful day. Namaste.